Mike Farrell. I'm about to be interviewed by Bobby Fazio. <laughs> Back at the 2022 Class Racer Nationals here at New Media Dragway, up in the mountains, checking out stock and super stock cars. This entire race is dedicated to stock and super stock only cars. And this particular 1970 Challenger, gorgeous orange Challenger, is driven by Mr. Mike Farrell out of New York. Mike, how you doing? I'm doing good. How are you doing? Excellent, Mike. The car is gorgeous. Thank uh, you. First off, tell everybody where in New York you come from. I live in East Nassau, New York, which is uh, about a mile and a half from Lebanon Valley Dragway. Oh, so really close. So you yeah. get a lot of seat time if you need it, huh? Yes. Yeah. All right, so you're driving this awesome 70 Challenger that you acquired somewhat recently, is yeah. that correct? I bought it over the winter from Tom Auger. All right, and who, who built this car? The car itself was built by PMR out in California. The engine and drivetrain is from Don Little, out, also out in California. All right, so it's, this is a West Coast car that that you got. Was Auger, where's Auger from? Is he a West Maine. Coast? He's from Maine. Uh, he's as East yeah. Coast as you can get to. Yeah. Okay. He, he bought the car from Eric Bell. And Eric Bell, the former Major League pitcher, who's yeah. also a West Coast guy, yeah. I think, right? And I'm going to put them? Yankee stickers on it next. So, <laughs> so this he is a- He was a Baltimore Oriole pitcher. That's right, he was, yeah. yeah. This is a Baltimore Oriole color, too. Yeah. Uh, 383 cubic inches, you said built by Don Little. Yes. So did Don Little do everything on the car? Or? Don Little built everything on this engine. Yep. He did the engine and uh, the car was... Great engine. He's had some updates and stuff over the years. The car is originally built in 2004. Okay. So this 383, what kind of carburetor came on one of these? This is a Holley uh, four barrel. This is what came on it in 1970. Now on super stock, you do have to run the factory carburetor. What kind of CFM is this? Baby? It's around 600 factory rated. Yeah, so this is a little guy for for this engine, I would think. It's pretty amazing how fast it can go with a little carburetor. Amazing. Now in super stock, uh, you are not restricted on your cam lift. Uh, not like in stock limiter. So in super stock, you're allowed to run any lift you want. However, the heads must remain factory heads with factory valve sizes. What are the valve sizes? Uh, 208 is pretty heavy. <laughs> now, what is your personal best in this car? Uh, the personal best was today, and uh, that was a 992 in uh, Super Stack I at I weight. We've always run this car at 8 before, but I'm a lot fatter than Jerry Hat, <laughs> so I can't get it down to 8 weight. And uh, even when it was in 8 with Jerry in it, it was about 65 pounds heavy at its lightest. So, okay, what kind of mile an hour? It makes a better car. It went 131. 131. Now, if you're in super stock high automatic, what is your minimum weight? Minimum weight on this is 31.70. And then the index in high automatic? Index is 1070. 1070. Okay. All right. What kind of RPM are you turning with this? This goes through the traps at about 6,800. And what are you shifting? At uh, 62 and 64. That's pretty low for a super stock car. Yeah. So I guess yeah, that's... Try not to open it up too much. All right. Uh, that... so. Trying Should. to learn how to drive it since I've never <laughs> been in a super stock well, car. Increase the longevity of the motor, I would think. Yeah, it'll definitely go higher and it'll definitely go faster. Well, you can say today's that. Today's going to be a learning good. experience with a trans brake that I've never used in my life. So. Oh, that makes two of us. <laughs> Let's take a look inside the car. Uh, what kind of transmission and converter? It's a 727 Pro Trans and it's an ATI converter. Now, would that be an eight, ATI 8 inch converter? Yes, or? it's 8 inch. So what kind of RPM do you leave the line at? Uh, the two-step is set at 3,800. All right, so somewhat low. And then I would think the converter is stalling up to what, about six grand yeah, About so? 62. Okay. Yeah. These are nice, uh, I like these kind of seats here. So they're not factory seats, but they have like the factory upholstery, it seems yeah. like. Yep. And I know Eric Bell had that similar approach in his... Uh, 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 wedge car that I, I interviewed out in Las Vegas yep. this year. I think it was a Savoy he yep. had. Yeah, this, this is an amazing car that I've admired for a lot of years. And to own it is a privilege. What kind of rear is in the car? It's got a Ford 9 inch. And the gear ratio? Uh, 488. 
488 gears. And these are some pretty big tires here. So in super stock, you are allowed to go much bigger on the tire than you are in stock eliminator. Stock, you have to be nine inches or less. Super stock, I believe you're allowed to go 14 inches max. And you're allowed a little more fabrication in the rear. Uh, here's some nice wheelie bars. You are allowed to uh, run a Ford nine inch rear in a Mopar vehicle. You're not allowed to do that in stock. Stock has to remain corporately loyal. Can we look inside the trunk? Sure. We have two 16 volt batteries back here in super stock. You're allowed to put the batteries in the trunk. You don't have to run one up under the hood, unlike in stock limiter, where you do have to run one under the hood. What size is this fuel cell? Five gallon. Five gallon cell. And there's a weight bar here. Yep, that gets us to eye weight even with my fat butt in there. <laughs> and a magna fuel pump and filter. Hey, the hydraulics hold up pretty well here. Yeah. I could never do this in one of my cars, <laughs> even when I was driving them on the street. Dangerous, you'd lose a hand or a finger. <laughs> uh, just a gorgeous car Me too. all around. Now this is the car you said Jerry Hatch was driving for yes. Thomas yep. Auger. Yep, and he drove it for me for, uh, he drove at New England for me this year at the national event. We won class with it, with the car. And uh, he went some rounds at the Lebanon Valley Divisional with it this year also. Wow, only one sticker on the car, classracer.com. I mean, if there is a best appearing car this weekend, I, I'd be you know hard pressed to find another one, but uh, we shall see, I'm not involved this, in that. Last couple of weeks, took a lot of buffing and stuff like that. This doesn't have clear coat in it, it's acrylic enamel, so. So this so is not careful a, not to burn paint off of it. This isn't a brand new paint job. This no, is something this that you was restored. Actually, exactly, I restored it. It was actually paid in 2004. Well, what did you do to get it so shiny? It, it took a lot of effort and a lot of chemicals. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of products are you using? Uh, stuff I found on the internet, believe it or not. Um, I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head. I think Flogenics, I think it was called. Okay, do you use like the clay bar or something No, like I didn't that? use the clay bar on this. Yeah, I've used it in the past, but it wasn't that bad. You know, don't, don't get me wrong. Jerry right. did keep it clean. So, and he's one best appearing car with it too. So ah, all right. It, well, it wasn't just, that bad. I'm trying to get some tips you know, for myself yeah. and for some of the watchers here. Just, so just getting some of the old stickers off that don't pay anymore and stuff like yeah. that and getting the car cleaned up. And that's hard to do when you peel an old sticker oh, off. You don't want the paint me, to come yeah. off with it. You have yeah, a tip no, for us with no that? No paint came off. I had a heat gun, a okay. Milwaukee battery powered heat gun and just be careful. Yeah. You know, because uh, you can. I've had other cars where the clear coat came right off. <laughs> All right, Mike. Well, it's a gorgeous car, Thank and you. Uh, we wish you luck this weekend Thank you very for much. the Class Racer Nationals. If you can bring home the money, yep. good luck. And or a, a myriad I look of other a prizes. Better with that trans brake, I might do okay. All right, <laughs> you got the shims, you got the RPM, you got yeah. tire pressure. You can get it. Yeah, it got it down to an 041 that time. So it started off at a 130, and then a 70, and then a 41. So I'm picking away at it. Picking away. All right, I'm this time you'll right be 10. Where Jerry had it and tried to make it go from there. All right. <laughs> All right, buddy. Good luck this weekend. Thank you.